Hello everyone, my name is Mike and in this video I'll show you how you can deploy your Merlin app on Verso. So let's get started. As you will see my app currently is running on Verso and I have both my frontend working and backend. So if I do slash API slash test, as you see my backend returns test. So first of all you will have to sign up on Verso. And how you do that is through GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, this right here, which I don't know what it is, and then with email. Now, all you sign up, go to your account, and that's it. Everything else is done through the development. So let's go in the code. So let's get started. First of all, I'll create a package.json for the backend. So I'll open command line and then do npm init-y afterwards I'll open this on the Visual Studio code drag it right here and then do index.js so let me copy paste a template from express okay so here's the template so we use express right here and then we use course so we can enable request from the front end to the back end and then here is the core part so what we are doing here first of all okay i might have to change this okay so i did a simple change so what you have to do first of all is in all your urls on all your apis you need to start with a slash api on the front or slash something because what we are doing here is let's say we have a domain and that's www.domain.com right so when we make a request it will go here on the same domain same on the back end same on the front end so if we have a page let's say slash user no let's say slash profile okay so we have a page slash profile but if we have a get request on the back end for slash profile then the page will not load but the, the back end has a priority so we will never get the page so in order to make them different we will add the slash api here so the back end doesn't load on the client side so that's why we have to use slash api and then something else so let's do slash test and how you should do it is you should do what I did here previously so app.use slash api and then use routes so what happens here is let me do some changes right here so we'll have front end and again front end so what happens here we will create a react app called front end and then once the react app is completed we will do an npm run build and then we render the client side through the back end and that's how you do that so we get we say apple get our request and then redirect them to index.html and that's how we can get all the pages from the front end but as, as I said, it says here, get all the requests. But what about the API? That's exactly why I have it from above. So how it works is it first checks for the backend request. And then if it's not a backend request, then it goes to the front end. So let me make a small change right here. Done. So our next step is to create the React app. And now I'll do MPX create react app and then i'll name it front end if you use a different name just make sure you do that here also and i'll have the complete template down in the description so you can clone it through github so if you have an app already just copy paste the core stuff and it should work that's how i explained it Otherwise, if you are just beginning with an app and you want to deploy it from the start, just get this template and work here. So now that my React app is created, 
my next step is to download the modules right here because I haven't done that already. So I'll download the Express and everything else. Now make sure every module that you download that you do dash dash shape. That way when you deploy it, Versal knows what node modules it has to download. So just don't forget to do that dash dash shape. If you did forget to do that, just go ahead and download that module again and put it as a shape. Same for the front end. You have to do the same thing. Now for the front end, I don't want to change anything. I'll just render this. So our next step now is to get a versal.json file and that will happen on the back end. So let's create a file versal.json. So what I copy paste here is first of all the builds and that means what we will use and we will use node and I say exactly what file we will use and that's index.js that's where we will use it and then on the routes I say whatever requests we get we, we just redirect them to here for example if someone does that then we redirect them to that okay yeah that's that's it so i'll save that and then the next step is either to deploy it with github or use verso so let me show you so step number one is to download verso globally mpmi dash g verso g means globally so it will download it on your computer and not only on the project so our next step is to do versal after we download it here you choose how you will authenticate yourself so when you sign up on versal you sign up either with github gitlab bitbucket email or something else i don't know what that is so i'll choose email because i signed up with my email and now I have to enter my email address. If you choose GitHub, I believe you'll be redirected. Okay, so I'll click verify through my email and then boom, done. Now I'll run Versal again. And I'll click yes. Yeah, I want to deploy on that account. No, it's not. An existing project and now we put my project name I'll do uh, Versal just Versal I uh, project put whatever name you want here now in which directory is your code located yeah that's correct so I'll press enter project name contain contains invalid color text okay let me try that again so the Versal yes no okay let's do small characters so i'll do versal uh versal test I like, like that enter okay now it works so as you see it's uploading so i forgot to create a build folder on my front end so this will not work so what i'll do is do cd front end wait, wait the front end and then do npm run build to create the build folder okay so now that we've created the build folder i will go back and then again do verso and as you see it's deploying on verso again let's go on that url okay it's copied to clipboard so i'll just copy paste it and here it is my app is working now let me test the back end also so slash api slash test and boom we got test so both back end and front end is working so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments what would you like to see next i'd really appreciate if you leave a like on this video subscribe as i'm trying to hit those 
1000 subscribers mark and then don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any more future videos thank you and see you in my next video bye bye